At last year's Kidney Week, ASN announced our partnership with the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services to launch Kidney X to accelerate innovation in the prevention, diagnosis, and treatment of kidney diseases. Kidney X seeks to improve the lives of 850 million people worldwide currently affected by kidney diseases. Today we are joined by Ed Simcox. Ed Simcox is the Chief Technology Officer and Acting Chief Information Officer at the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. As the CTO at HHS, he provides leadership and direction to ensure that HHS effectively leverages data, technology, and innovation to improve the lives of Americans and the performance of operating divisions across the department. He has been working at the intersection of healthcare and technology for 18 years. Prior to joining HHS, Mr. Simcox served as a healthcare practice leader at Logicalis, an international IT service provider and consultancy with over 300 healthcare clients in the United States. In this role, he led the strategy, solutions department, and consulting for the U.S. healthcare sector. He engaged with healthcare providers across the U.S. in a consulting capacity and advocated for the liberation of healthcare data and telehealth adoption. Prior to joining Logicalis, Mr. Simcox was director of U.S. healthcare strategy, partnerships, and production development at AT&T. His portfolio included emerging technologies and products supporting mHealth, telehealth, and health information exchange. It is my pleasure to welcome Mr. Simcox to the stage. Thank you, Dr. Mpisa. Good morning. I'm excited to be with you this morning here at Kidney Week to represent the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. As somebody who's been involved in innovation work for the better part of my career, I'm excited to be back here in California to address you here today. California is home to a great amount of disruptive innovation, whether it's computers, medical devices, movies, airplanes. Many big companies have gotten their start in California. And when you study these successful innovative companies, you realize many of them were actually started in garages. And as a Midwesterner, it always amazes me, frankly, that with such beautiful weather and pristine beaches that anything gets done in California, much less the amazing amount of innovation that we've seen over the last few decades, and we continue to see today. At the, at the uh, U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, our mission is to improve the health and well-being of all Americans. As the Chief Technology Officer, I have the humbling responsibility of helping to spur innovation both inside and outside the department to ensure we're meeting our mission. And that's exactly why I'm here today. We know that for the 40 million Americans affected by kidney diseases, the current rate of innovation simply is not enough. For the 100,000 individuals that will begin dialysis this year, the current rate of innovation is not enough. And for all of you, Healthcare professionals, researchers, patients, and others that are desperate for new forms of treatment, new hope, the current rate of innovation is not enough. And this slow rate of innovation, the slow rate of change, is exactly why we created the Kidney Innovation Accelerator that we are now calling Kidney X. Kidney X aims to accelerate breakthroughs in new therapies and other innovations 
for people living with kidney diseases. It will offer a series of financial prizes along with better access to HHS in order to ensure more innovations develop solutions, more innovators develop solutions to address kidney diseases. And today, I'm thrilled to tell you that we at HHS, in partnership with the American Society of Nephrology, are launching the first in a series of Kidney X prizes, a $2.6 million award that we're calling Redesign Dialysis. Submissions are now, thank you. Submissions are now being accepted at kidneyx.org, kidney and I would encourage all of you uh, to go check it out. We believe this is an important first step to lowering the barriers associated with bringing new products to market. The Department of Health and Human Services is a family of federated agencies. Each one plays an important role in the nation's health and well-being. We fund biomedical research through the National Institutes of Health. We uphold safety and efficacy of commercial products through the Food and Drug Administration. We provide insurance to a large group of Americans through Medicare. We maintain global public health through the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. And we also recognize that private industry leadership is crucial to making Kidney X a success. Hence our partnership with ASN. As the world's largest organization of nephrology health professionals, ASN brings scientific expertise, broad networks in the kidney community, and I'm excited to say a $25 million commitment to our Kidney X partnership. As the name implies, the Kidney Innovation Accelerator is designed to create incentives for new products in kidney care. Dr. Okusa noted that not enough investment dollars are going into this space. I believe this is because the path to commercialization is uncharted and has the appearance to investors as being too risky. And through Kidney X, we aim to change that. Kidney X makes use of a special tool granted to us by Congress called prize competitions. These competitions are powerful innovation tools because they allow us to attract and reward new ideas to complement and strengthen the promising ones that are already being developed. As we incentivize and reward innovators using prizes, we're able to give voice to their accomplishments, signaling their credibility. We're able to give promise to investors and the industry. We hope that by doing this, we can attract more innovators by changing the perception that innovation in the kidney space is risky and lacks potential. But prize money alone will not solve this issue. We must also address regulatory and reimbursement barriers that serve as significant deterrents. We must de-risk the market for investors looking to support innovation in this heavily regulated space so that capital flows to these innovators. And we can do this by streamlining device approvals and payment pathways. But I think most importantly, Kidney X aims to create a sense of urgency to fill these unmet needs. Patients, health professionals, innovators, the investment community, and yes, governments, all have roles to play in achieving this goal. Kidney X is our collective call to action. So, dialysis was a medical breakthrough when it was invented decades ago. It was a massive leap forward, but it hasn't substantially changed since its inception. Today, I believe that we need to channel the urgency and the bold thinking 
that led to the creation and implementation of dialysis to envision what can be next. We need to think differently and change the perception of what is possible. As I mentioned early, our, earlier, our first Kidney X Award is called Redesign Dialysis. And the prize competition will run in two phases. The first phase, for which we are accepting submissions starting today, will award up to 15 prizes of $75,000 each. Participants are being asked to design solutions or components of solutions that can replicate normal kidney function and improve patient quality of life. In this first phase, we want to draw out good ideas and reward those ideas that are most promising. The second phase starts in the spring of 2019 and will ask participants to develop initial prototypes. In this phase, we'll award up to three prizes of $500,000 each. And I'd like to ask all of you if you have ideas, no matter how small they may seem, I hope you will consider applying. And equally important, please, I hope that you spread the word about this opportunity to your colleagues and other fields so that they can bring their insights to transforming dialysis as well. These two phases are just the beginning. There will be many more prizes as part of Kidney X. Going forward, we want to target other opportunities to improve the lives of people with kidney diseases. We, we are interested also in looking at ways to de-risk the development of products upstream of kidney failure. I want to mention that beyond Kidney X, we're looking at other ways that we can help. For example, I believe we can do a better job of getting more Americans the best treatment for kidney failure, namely a kidney transplant. We want to investigate opportunities for reform, opportunities such as improving the information that we have regarding how we procure organs for transplant. Look at how we can bring together greater accountability so we can reduce inefficiencies in the system and investigate whether current programs are creating misaligned incentives. We need the help of everyone in this room to identify where we can improve transplantation. And we want to collaborate with you to implement new approaches. Eric Hargan, our Deputy Secretary at HHS, is a very strong supporter of innovation in my office and across HHS, and he's been a great friend to Kidney X. He wishes he could have been here today, and I'm very thankful for all the support he's already given us. Since he couldn't be here in person, he wanted me to share this recorded video message with you. Dialysis today doesn't look much different than it did 60 years ago. More innovation is needed because patients deserve better. Hi, I'm Eric Hargan, Deputy Secretary of the Department of Health and Human Services. In partnership with the American Society of Nephrology, we've created Kidney X. Kidney X establishes a series of prize competitions to accelerate the pace of innovation so that patients living with kidney diseases have better options. The first Kidney X Prize will focus on redesigning dialysis. We know there is exciting work already happening in this space. With redesigned dialysis, we are challenging a broad set of innovators to bring fresh thinking and new possibilities to kidney care. Whether it's wearable or implantable or something else entirely different, with Kidney X, we want to create an ecosystem for more innovative product development. At HHS, we recognize that if we're going to lower the risk for private sector innovation, then we need the right payment incentives. That's why we brought together key stakeholders from our National Institutes of Health, the Food and Drug Administration, and the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services. But we're not going to stop with redesigned dialysis. Future prizes will focus on things like prevention, developing better diagnostics, 
and therapies to slow the progression of kidney diseases. Most importantly, health innovation should be patient-driven. We've designed KidneyX so that patients have the opportunity to provide meaningful input on the design of the challenge and any potential solutions. Now, we're calling on all of you to be part of the solution. How would you redesign dialysis? Produced by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services at taxpayer expense. We're really fortunate to have leadership at the Department of Health and Human Services like Sec Deputy Secretary Hargan, uh, providing their support and sponsorship for Kidney Acts. Finally, before I close, I want to mention that if you have questions about Kidney X or any of the work, innovation work that my office, the office of the CTO is doing uh, at HHS, I'd uh, love to meet you during the welcome reception this evening in the community's lounge at 6.30. So, thank you for your time today. Thank you for inviting me here uh, to speak with you. Thank you for your continued work to improve the lives of those around the world affected by kidney diseases. Have a great kidney week. Thank you. Thank you, Ed, very much.